welcome back to Singing Our Faith. We continue singing through Glory to God, the Presbyterian hymnal. We're in section three of the hymnal, which focuses on the life of discipleship. We're concluding the section on adoration in today's episode. Our first song today, number 632, People of the Lord, is a paraphrase of Psalm 78. And cleverly, the composer set the tune to a 7-8 meter, which gives it an energetic, buoyant feel as we sing. We'll sing verses 1, 2, and 3 as the text and tune settle into our spirit. Coming from the African-American gospel tradition, Praise Ye the Lord, number 633, is a paraphrase of Psalm 150. The psalm directs numerous ways of praising God with a variety of instruments and from a variety of locations. We'll sing verses 1 and 2. Another gospel song, though not from the African-American tradition as the previous song was, is number 634, To God Be the Glory. It's a text written by the prolific 19th century hymn writer Fanny Crosby. We'll sing both verses, which end with the refrain calling all people to praise the Lord.
from the Tizé community in France, number 635, Sing, Praise, and Bless the Lord, Laudate Dominum in Latin, is a short song of praise in the Tizé style that's meant to be sung repetitively. The Latin text is an ancient liturgical text, and the English translation has been sung for centuries. Eric Routley, a 20th century tune writer, composed the tune for Let All the World in Every Corner Sing, number 636, which is a text from the 17th century. The grandness of the tune works well with the refrain that envelops each of the two verses. Let all the Brazilian folk song number 637, O Sing to the Lord, Cantio al Senhor, has been widely sung in Portuguese, Spanish, and English. Glory to God contains all three languages on the page. We'll sing verses 1, 2, and 3 in which we affirm God's wonders in song and dance. Phrase of Psalm 95, O come and sing unto the Lord, number 638, is set to an Irish sounding melody from the 18th century. We'll sing verses 1, 2, and 5.
number 639 is a setting of Psalm 96 with the recurring refrain, O sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. We'll hear four of the psalm verses sung, and we'll respond with the refrain after verses two and four. and Praise the Lord, number 640, is a Yoruban folk melody with a text that incorporates references to familiar psalm verses describing the people of God at worship. Set in a call and response style, there's a wonderful energy to this song. We'll sing verses 1, 2, and 4. Charles V. Stanford's tune, Engelberg, is paired with a text by Fred Pratt Green in number 641, when in our music, God is glorified. Singing and making music are intrinsic to how God's people offer their praise and adoration, and this text celebrates musical expression in worship. We'll sing all five verses, which also connect the importance of song to Jesus' own worship practices in verse 4.
the final song in the section on adoration is number 642, Hallelujah, We Are Singing, a Native American text and melody. It's one of the most sung Native American hymns and is now much more common in a variety of denominational hymnals. The style is both call and response with a common refrain. Hey. 